got it. Please stay on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get him. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Might be a keeper here. Oh, I'll take it with it. Yes. Just swing right out with it. Thank you, keep. Early on during the final day of the 2020 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops, anglers near the top of the leaderboard are loading the boat with fish. The final day on Pickwick Lake is high stakes as $35,000 in prizes and contingencies are on the line. A purse this prestigious has these anglers anxious as the clock winds down here on the final day. If we get like 16, 17 pounds, the table's really tough. I know. Well, we got one in there. He's. He's a little over 15 inches, but we gotta need to do some upgrading for sure on two or three of them. This elite field of 200 boats qualified for the event for a reason. They know how to catch fish with the best of them. Can a team sneak up from the back of the pack and claim a national championship? They only need 14 and change, and they have. Find out next. The number one team right there, number one. Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Zooey! New Big Bass of the turn of the month. There's your chances right there, folks. Let's go straight out to the water now to continue our coverage of the first place team from Bryan College, Bailey Fain and Preston Kendrick. They currently have four fish in the box and are working the area that produced that day one leading limit of 19.82 pounds, a limit that was anchored by a nearly six pound Pickwick Lake Lunker. And we were just fortunate enough yesterday to have one of those bites. I'm hoping that we might stumble upon one that big today. That would really help the calls out a lot. We ain't really tried much. We got him, buddy. I don't think he's a keeper. I don't think he is, but he will bite a jig. Is that what that was on? Yeah. Gonna be a little bit short. Oh, shoot. Fish? Oh. This one come up right here, yeah. Golly, oh, he is close. <laughs> hey, we'll get after him sometime or another. Oh, right there. Shad just jumped out of the water. Entering today less than a pound behind the leaders are Mark Harris and Cameron Rhodes from Dallas Baptist University. They currently have three fish in the live well and are looking to put some pressure on the leaders as the day progresses. Hey, my baby. Oh, that's a keeper, though. Hey, I'm telling you, we just need to fish new water. Keeper. What? It's a keeper. Four. Come on, keep. Bro. Thing didn't even get to the bottom. I don't know, we're gonna see. Hope he's 15. Oh, that's no number five, sir. Is it? Look at there. Really? He's over. I didn't think he would. Look at that. Well, good job. Over, over, over. I did not think he would did not think that, that would big. work, but. Do you think that fish is magic? I did not think I didn't either. 
I didn't think there was a chance. He's over, though. Well, we got five, but we're gonna have to upgrade. But I am glad we got five. This field of elite anglers is starting to find its stride as the final day moves along. Teams are having some success out on the deep structure spots, and the day one leaders are beginning to hit the wall. Can someone from back in the pack seize the opportunity to overtake the lead? Find out next. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. At the pinnacle of super high output, four-stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO, Yamaha's game-changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bonefish. It's an extended family of four-strokes engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock-solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. What are them sons of fishes up to now? Fellas, I give you the force trolling motor. It is the most powerful, the most efficient on the water. Yep. Most powerful. We're really in trouble now. And it's quiet, too. You can't swim here. What a dumb bass. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Smallmouth. You know what I'm glad? Smallmouth 15 inches. <laughs> I had a feeling of smallmouth would be right there. Way more than what we got. The day one leaders from Bryan College, Bailey Fain and Preston Kendrick, just landed a keeper smallmouth that'll upgrade their limit by several ounces. That fish pushes their total weight up around the 14 to 15 pound mark, a number that just might leave the door open for a team to have a good day too and overtake the lead. Oh, dude, there's one. That feels like a good one. That's a real good one, dude. Oh, number five. All right. Good job. Oh, dude, I'm shaking, man. That was a lot bigger than that. <sighs> number five. That feels better to get a limit. I really don't know how much weight we have. It's definitely not as much as we had yesterday. I do know that. It's a lot less than yesterday, but, but an amount, I. I don't know, I really hadn't looked at them, to be quite honest with you. Definitely gonna have to upgrade. We're gonna need some big ones to, if we're looking at that win. We're gonna need some like the one he caught yesterday. One team that's no stranger to catching a giant on the final day of championship competition is the McKendree University duo of Blake Jackson and Trevor McKinney. Yo. Though they didn't win the event, they did land this game changer on the final day of the 2019 championship. That fish helped them secure a top five finish, as well as propel McKendree University to their first ever title as a Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Yes! yes! Woo! That may be school of the year right there. 
Here in 2020, they find themselves in a similar position. They're leading the School of the Year race, have four fish in the box, and are hopeful to round out a limit and ensure back-to-back -back SOY titles for their school. Yeah, so coming into this tournament, we're kind of sitting in the same shoes uh, we were last year. We've got, I don't know, I think it's like a thousand point lead coming into to this event, but this event, I mean, it's it's double points and it's, it, it's worth, I mean, it, it's worth a ton. I mean, guys can get on the big schools of fish and everybody can catch them. Um, it's like 12 pounds, only a pretty good bag where you ever you go. And we got a boat I know, they had high 12s and they're sitting in 50th, you know, so. If you really don't get on some fish, you could you could lose uh, lose ground in a hurry. And Montevello and sitting in second, Adrian's in third, and you guys can fish every one of them. And like he was just saying, nothing like sitting next to the team in second and watching them put a limit in the boat, and and you sit here basically trying to figure out what's going on. And like you said, the mind games start rolling. But but mainly, you know, our biggest thing here is we'd love to win. We're sitting in fifth now, but. A big bag and anybody can catch it on this lake. This morning started off pretty quick, like yesterday, just, you know, we didn't catch no big ones this time. Uh, we got a, so, I mean, a decent limit, you know, nothing uh, good enough to win. Uh, but we're going to have to get some bigger ones and we've just gone a few hours without a bite, honestly, like it's, or without a fish. It's been real tough and we're just, we're just going to put our heads down and flip, you know, any stuff we think looks good, and then we'll probably go back and hit that hole one more time. Other than that, we just, we're just hoping and praying for a, a, another coal, you know. Like Preston said, well, the only thing we're, we know to do now is just go around the bank with a big stick, and hopefully we run into a one to coal. We got one in there. He's He's a little over 15 inches, but we gotta need to do some upgrading for sure on two or three of them. Coming up later in the show, anglers will make their way back to McFarland Park and will prepare to crown a national champion. But before that, we take a closer look at the town of Florence, Alabama, and its rich history as a premier stop for major bass fishing tournaments. Stay tuned. It doesn't matter what you fish, you need the right bait. Berkley Power Bait, now in 54 proven shapes. From craws and creatures, to worms, grubs, swim baits and more. And 85 sizes, and all are infused with that deadly power bait flavor. Fish bite and won't let go, giving you up to 18 times longer to set the hook. And that means you catch more fish. Yeah, it's time for a bigger tackle box. Berkley, catch more fish. I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down You don't know their names yet, but you will. As a professional angler, you've got so many things on your mind. Any advantage that we have is key. And not only rods and reels and lines and baits, but in our clothes. And the guys at AFCO, I mean, they have something for every situation. There's nothing AFCO hasn't thought about with the fishermen in mind. It's designed for fishermen, by fishermen, for every scenario you can come to. Any fish, any water, any condition, AFCO has you covered. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US, we're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Secret Lures, the secret is out. And by Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. 
Long China Florence. Florence is a really, really cool place, and uh, it's just kind of a dream to be on such a you know, nationally recognized fishery like Pickwick and Wilson. For many of these collegiate anglers, Pickwick Lake and Florence, Alabama have become synonymous with national championships and elite tournament bass fishing. For going on 10 years now, this historic fishery and the surrounding community have played an integral part in the growth of collegiate bass fishing. One of the things I love about the college anglers, you know, these bigger universities, LSU doesn't come to town every single week when we have a football, baseball tournament. Um, LSU, your Clemsons, your Auburns. Uh, we don't like to talk about Auburn around here, but you know, they come to town and it's, a, it's an awesome thing just to see them all here in the Shoals area from all across the nation. Back on the water, the clock is winding down, and teams are trying to make the most of every second that remains in tournament competition. We it's got 12 o'clock. We got an hour and a half left. And the only thing I know to do is just go down these bluffs and then go back over there to our other hole and hope they bite there or, or a late in the day flurry, you know, come up or start biting or whatever. That's a keeper. Got about 45 minutes. Well, to be honest with you, I feel like we blew it. I feel like we were a bite or two away from placing really good, and I, I, I just, I don't know. But now we still got time. Definitely ain't over. I got him. We've done everything we know to do today, and it just didn't just didn't work out. We caught one or two this morning, but just didn't work out. Thankfully, we do have five, though. I mean, thankfully, we do have that. It just didn't. Just fell a little bit short. Yep. We've reached the final break in the show. On the other side, we crown a national champion and conclude the race for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Don't go away. You've been waiting all week for this, and Sunline wants to make sure you're ready for it with bulk spools of all your favorite fishing lines. That's so fun. Bulk up with Sunline. From the backwoods to the backyard, Sawyer's Permethrin, odorless insect repellent, repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. guy that's always bringing in big ones from offshore, he's got secret lures. That guy that can pull out a spinning rod and start catching them when you can't buy a bite, he's got secret lures. What about that guy that can follow you down the bank and catch what you left behind? He's got secret lures. Oh, yeah, good one. If you're ready to be that guy, get your secret lures today at secretlures.com. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Buff, built for ultimate sun protection. Abu Garcia, for life. And by Sawyer Products, 
We keep you outdoors. All right, 1684 today, the largest sack of the day, 1932. They've got a better sack today, 1851, a two-day total, 33 even. New leaders! Weigh in for the 2020 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops is well underway and Pickwick Lake is flexing its muscle early. Numerous bags over the 15 pound mark have been brought in thus far. Traditionally, it takes a two day total of 40 plus pounds to win this event. Someone will need to set the bar at 35 pounds or higher to put some heat on the remaining top teams. All right, Campbellsville University, Dalton and Bradley, they had a really good day yesterday. They had 14, 42, and my goodness, that's another good looking sack. This may be the biggest sack of the day, and it is 2021. The first 20 pound sack, set them out on the carpet. Get out those biggest fish. That is the largest sack of the tournament so far. Dalton Smith and Bradley Dunnigan from Campbellsville University set the bar to reach at 34.6 pounds following a 20 plus pound showing here on the final day. I was super happy with how the day turned out. I mean, it, at, at 12 o'clock we had, I don't know, 10 pounds and, and stuff just started clicking and we both caught fish and we both helped out. It's been a great teamwork this week. We've had probably one of the most fish catching trips I've ever been on. Uh, we've, we've probably caught over 80 fish, so it's been awesome. The final few flights continue to roll into McFarland Park, but no one team has come close to threatening the boys from Campbellsville for that top spot. That could all be about to change as the hometown team of Martin McCravey and Tristan Crowder from UNA make their way to the stage. The second 20 pound sack, we're going to get some pictures, 21-03, the second 20 pound plus bag of fish. Dunnigan and Smith are able to maintain their spot in the angle cooler's hot seat as they edge out UNA by less than a pound. Only three teams remain to weigh in, and it's time to do some numbers crunching as we prepare to crown a national champion. Have you done any math to what weight they needed from yesterday to catch you? Uh, I mean, I know what it is, but I, I think, I don't know the leader, I, 19, so I guess he needs about 15 pounds. University of Montebello, James and Chase, they only need 16.31. They had 18 yesterday. You dodged another bullet. 10.63, guys. Awesome. You've got 28.96. Now, Dallas Baptist coming up next. They only need 15.56. And they had 19 pounds yesterday. Uh-huh. Whoa. He's using two hands. Look over at them, see. They need 16, or they need 15, 56. So close, 14, 58. So it's still, it's not over, over yet? No, no, never over here. You ready? Uh, might as well be. All right, lay them up there. All right, Bailey and Preston, y'all led this thing yesterday. You, they only need 14 and change, I was wrong. They had 1982, and they have 16, 17. Brown College just won it. Yes, sir. Bailey Fane and Preston Kendrick from Bryan College bring in a five bass limit of 16.17 pounds to claim first place with a two day total of 35.99 pounds. Their plan to work the same area for two full days pays off in a big way as they are crowned national champions. We're at a loss of words. I mean, right now, I mean, it was, uh, we started off the morning just like we did yesterday on our, uh, we had a spot yesterday they were schooling on and we pulled up to it this morning and, and we caught most of the weight uh, on the schooling hole. And then uh, we upgraded one more time uh, flipping. None of us thought we would even be in this position. It was just the good Lord. I, I just want to thank God for even giving us this opportunity. I mean, I'm just very grateful. And here's a look at how the top 10 shook out following the conclusion of weigh-in. Fain and Kendrick sit there at the top and will take home several thousands of dollars in prizes and contingencies. Mixed in there amongst the top 10, you'll notice several teams representing schools in contention for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Adrian College finishes in third place for the season with a total of 13,385 points. With Adrian being crowned third, that leaves just two teams with a realistic shot at that number one ranking, the University of Montevallo and McKendree University. University of Montebello, second place. 
13,965 points. Montevallo earns a total of 2,500 points at the championship this week to secure a second place finish in the school of the year. With all of the closest competitors eliminated, that leaves McKendree University as the last team standing. All right, y'all put your hands together for school of the year, McKendry. Come on up here. 14,965 points. This is only the second time in the history of our program that a school has won back to back. McKendry University secures the school of the year title and becomes only the second program ever to win the title in back to back years. All of the hard work, crucial planning and execution on the water paid off for them to win this year long race. Here's a quick glance at the final top 10 in the race for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. This monumental victory means a great deal to everyone involved in the McKendry University program. You know, we're in the same shoes last year. Uh, and it's just like, wow, you know, that was an awesome experience to, to go out and do it. You know, we've had a great year this year. And our biggest thing was we wanted that feeling again coming into this tournament. We just wanted a chance. That's all. We didn't think we were going to have a thousand point lead coming in like we did, just like last year. But we just wanted a chance. If, if we would have slipped up in this event, it, the leaderboard could have made some major changes this year with second and third. I mean, I think University of Montevallo, I mean, they had two in the top 15, I believe. I mean, that's quite impressive. Uh, that's what they had to have. And, you know, if we would have slipped up any, it would have been it would have been some major changes. So we're just really blessed we are able to get some in the boat this week. You know, I'm, I'm just thrilled and we're really blessed. Um, we, our goal after last year was to come back here at the beginning of last year and try for this again. And, the kids were consistent all year, and I've been pleased all year and just overwhelmed with their consistency. And uh, we came into here with a little lead, but as you know, that can really go away in a hurry. You have to execute, you have to catch fish, and they were, they were on the water every day, fishing hard and caught their limits, and we got the job done. So I'm super thrilled. And with that, the 2019-2020 season of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is in the books. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next season out on the water. This has been a Carico TV production. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state of the art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube. But I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of bait. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard. We play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. If you crave exciting adventure stories and love hearing about the latest tips and tricks to use in the field and out on the water, Outdoor Action TV is the channel for you. Thrilling content available for streaming 24-7 from any of your favorite devices. Catch all of your favorite shows like Americana Outdoors, Fisherman's Handbook, Whitetail Diaries, and more. No subscriptions necessary. Nice!
available for streaming and digital download across these platforms.